I get see it. See what's now. happening. I hope to do a podcast one day with my son. I think this is nice. This is how real... old you have two kids, right? I have a nine year old boy and a nine month old boy. So yeah, it's going to be a few years before I get. To no, do you that. could do one with the nine year old, and I guarantee it'll be a lot of fun. I bet you should do one with a nine year old. To do one with a nine year old would be a, a. I think that's a. I, I think he'd be all right. He's a funny kid, my nine year old. He's a funny kid. I bet you he is. Yeah, he's. Funny. I also. Does, okay. does he love touring with you? Um, he does. I'm giving him a job backstage in this Australian Like tour. the mother-in-law. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving him a job just to be like a dog's body and run around and do things uh, for my manager and stuff so that he gets a bit of a work ethic into him. I, I did might that teach with him how to bartend. I don't know if that's illegal or not, but so Bartend? Yeah, wow. So, it's just, we're only going to have a couple of spirits and a few beers. Just get that person a beer, pour them a vodka and whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roll that one a doobie. Yeah, illegal in Australia. Legal. Is it that legal? Was, that was one of the things I did in quarantine because I'm sober, but I I um I still partake uh, with with uh, weed. And right. So I I uh, I without that I find it very hard not to drink. And I um so when I was in quarantine, I asked somebody, a friend of mine, to bake me some some weed brownies, big tray of those, and because uh, you get food delivered and all that sort of stuff. But these were all in a Tupperware container. I mean, quarantine, they were delivered to me by a cop. And I thought, oh, fuck, I'm in trouble here. And he just was like, these are for you, Mr. Jeffries, and handed them over. The dog didn't check them or anything. So I could have He been. didn't know that the, you, know, you had a cop deliver a box of weed to my room in Australia while I was quarantined. It, it, why is it illegal there? It seems like that's a very progressive uh, country. We, when it comes to drugs, they're not very progressive. Uh, we have legalized prostitution. So we're, we're ahead of the game on that. You know, which is societally that is the best thing you can go. They have to pay taxes. They get STD checks. There's, there's uh, brothels. The girls are safer. All that type of stuff. They've proven that that's a, and the divorce rates drop substantially. You know, there's there's no downside to it. Right? Hookers are great. Yeah, fantastic. And they're, they're just on high streets. There isn't a stigma just, around just it. Just one second. I'm talking to Jeremy, who's our producer here. The title for this um, episode is going to be Hookers and Cunts. Hookers and cunts, fair enough. <laughs> With Jim Jeffries. Yeah, they go With together. <laughs> <laughs> um, but weed, they're still very, you know, like, like let's, let's mention another drug. So cocaine in Australia costs anywhere between uh, $300 and $400 a gram. Which why, over, why, why do you know that? Because I just know things. I just, I'm a knowledgeable man. <laughs> and over here, it's like 50 bucks for a gram of cocaine, right? right. So it's like it, there, there are some drawbacks to being a large island. You know, so <laughs> <laughs> all of our cocaine's brought in in condoms up people's asses, you know what I mean? So it's a limited supply. Um, but so Australia has a lot of like um, people, synthetic drugs, speed and stuff like that, people that bikers can make in labs and stuff like that. I don't know how I got onto this. I'm just saying know. that they're not. There's no drugs that are legal. I, there's right. nothing. I legal. remember we, I was asking about your kid touring with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna make him just get the boot and the spoon and the lighter. <laughs> 